Welcome to the video series, Getting the Most from Your Mac. In this episode of Getting the Most from Your Mac, we are going to get acquainted with our trackpad and learn more about the essential gestures that will help you to use your computer. The trackpad on your Mac can interpret multi-touch gestures to help you quickly and easily interact with the content on your screen. Let's take a look at some of the essential gestures and practice them together. The trackpad can be found here, below your keyboard. To click or select something with your Mac, simply take one finger and press on your trackpad. This will allow you to select files, folders, applications, or buttons. Often in this video series, we will ask you to select something on your Mac. To select, simply navigate your cursor to the object, click with one finger to select the object. You will notice that the object will become highlighted or outlined in blue once it has been selected. To open an application, you can also use the single click. Simply navigate to the icon on your dock and click with one finger. Pause the video now to practice the single click. When you are ready to move forward, please press play to continue. To access your right click menu, as you would with a traditional mouse, you can simply click on your trackpad with two fingers. This will activate shortcut and contextual menus based on what you have selected. Now, let's put this into practice. As I already mentioned, activating the right click menu will reveal shortcuts and contextual menus for whatever you select. This strategy helps us to save the time of having to navigate our cursor all the way up here to our menu bar to find our relevant actions for whatever application we're in. For instance, if I wanted to create a new folder on my desktop, I'd have to scroll all the way up here, select File, and find New Folder from this menu. However, if I had used right click, I would notice that that option is already right here at the top when I click on my desktop first. You'll notice that if I right click on a folder, on the other hand, my menu changes to show me relevant actions for this particular file. Again, if I open my application and I access the right-click menu, my menus again change to reflect the actions relevant to my Chrome application. To select any of these options, all I need to do is scroll down and click with one finger to select that choice. Pause the video now and try this on your own, exploring how the right-click menu changes based on what you select. When you are ready, please press play to continue. Similarly to how you would zoom in or out on your smartphone, you can use two fingers to zoom in or out with your trackpad. As you can see, I am currently having difficulty seeing the detail on this map. To zoom in, I could bring my cursor down here to these buttons to control my view. But to save time, I want to use my trackpad gestures instead. Watch as I simply pull my thumb and pointer finger apart, I can zoom in on the city of Philadelphia. When I am done reviewing this area of the map, I can simply pinch my pointer finger and thumb together on my trackpad to zoom back out to my previous view. Pause the video and try this on your own. When you are done, please press play to continue. When viewing a web page or PDF, you can use the Smart Zoom feature by double tapping with two fingers. Note that I am saying tap and not click. Smart Zoom works best when you are examining a PDF or a web page. You will notice that I am currently looking at a piece of art on this website. To improve my view of this painting, I will simply bring my cursor to the image and double tap with two fingers to activate Smart Zoom. As you can see, I now have a much better view of this image as my Mac has increased the size to fill my screen without causing the image to pixelate or become too blurry to see. I can now see details that I might not have been able to observe before. To zoom back out, I will double tap with two fingers on my trackpad. As you can see, I have returned to my previous view and can now resume my study of this article. I invite you to take a moment to try this on your own. 
Please pause the video now and practice this gesture. Remember that this works best when examining images or PDFs. When you are ready to move on, please press play to move forward. Slide two fingers up and down on your trackpad to scroll through the pages of your document or to the bottom of a web page. When reading documents or reviewing web pages, we often find ourselves needing to access the scroll bar over here to continue reading. While I could use my trackpad to navigate my cursor up and down this scroll bar, I find it much easier to use my trackpad gestures to scroll. Watch, by dragging my two fingers up and down the surface of my trackpad, I can quickly and easily adjust where I am in the page. Pause the video to practice this skill. When you feel you have mastered scrolling with two fingers, press play to continue. To adjust the orientation of an image, rest two fingers on the trackpad and move them around one another to spin or rotate the image. You will notice that the image will rotate in the same way your fingers are moving. I want to reorient this image from portrait to landscape so that it will be compatible with the rest of my Google slideshow. To do this, I will first select the item with a single click, and then I will place my thumb and pointer finger on my trackpad to rotate and adjust the image. You will notice that as I hold my pointer finger still and rotate my thumb, the image will respond to my movements. Please pause the video now to try this on your own. It is important to note that this will work best when working with image files. When you are ready to move on, please press play to continue. Swipe left or right with two fingers to navigate to the previous or next page in a multi-page document. I am currently viewing a PDF document in full screen view. To turn the page, I will simply use my two finger swipe to get from one page to the next. Please note that when I swipe to the right, I go forward in the document. When I swipe left, on the other hand, I will navigate to the previous page. Pause the video now to practice the two finger swipe gesture on your trackpad. When you are finished and ready to move on, please press play to resume the video. Now that you have learned the essential trackpad gestures, we encourage you to keep practicing. When you feel ready for a challenge, I want to invite you to check out our advanced trackpad gestures video to learn more useful applications for your trackpad. Don't forget to visit our Digital Tools for Learning website. Choose Apple Tools to see additional videos in the series, How to Get the Most from Your Mac. If you need additional support, reach out to your school's educational technology specialist. Thanks for joining us today, and see you next time.